Hallelujah. For you are faithful and you never fail us. Hallelujah. We put our hope in you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah.
bless the name of the Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise yes. the name of Jesus. Thank Hallelujah. You, Hallelujah. This Jesus. time, our scripture oh, reading will be read by our minister, Carly Marks. Hallelujah. May God bless her as she comes. Hallelujah. Scripture lesson for tonight is taken from Genesis chapter 3, verse 1 to 6, and Romans chapter 5, verse 12 to 21. And I'm reading from the New King James Version. Now the serpent was more cunning than any beast of the field which the Lord God has made. And he said to the woman, Has God indeed said, You shall not eat of every tree of the garden? And the woman said to the serpent, We may eat the fruit of the trees of the garden, but of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, God has said, You shall not eat it, nor shall you touch it, lest you die. Then the serpent said to the woman, You will not surely die, for God knows that in the day you eat of it, your eyes will be opened, and you will be like God, knowing good and evil. So when the woman saw that the tree was good for food, that it was pleasant to the eyes, and a tree desirable to make one wise, she took off its fruit and ate. She also gave to her husband with her, and he ate. Therefore, I'm reading now Romans 5, verse 12, 21. Therefore, just as through one man's sin entered the world, and death through sin, and thus death spread to all men, because all sinned, for until the lost sin was in the world, but sin in its is not imputed when there is no law. Nevertheless, death reigned from Adam to Moses, even over those who had not sinned according to the likeness of the transgressions of Adam who is a type of him who was to come. But the free gift is not like the offense. For if by the one man's offense many die, much more the grace of God and the gift by the grace of the one man, Jesus Christ, abounded to many. And the gift is not like that which came through the one who sinned. For the judgment which came from one offense resulted in condemnation, but the free gift which came from many offenses resulted in justification. For if by the one man's offense death reigned through the one, much more those who receive abundance of grace and of the gift of righteousness will reign in life through the one, Jesus Christ. Therefore, as through one man's offense, judgment came to all men, resulting in condemnation, even so, through one man's righteous acts, the free gift came to all men, resulting in justification of life. For as by one man's disobedience many were made sinners, so also by one man's obedience many will be made righteous. Moreover, the law entered that the offense might abound, but where sin abounded, grace abounded much more. Amen. So that as sin reigned in death, even so grace might reign through righteousness to eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Here end of the lesson for this evening. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Bless the Lord. Thank God for his word. Hallelujah. You may be seated at this time. Our pastors will come and minister in song. We pray God bless them as they minister. Amen. Amen. Bless you in the name of the Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. So to try to do this song for you. Let the beauty of Jesus be seen in me. All his wonderful passion and purity. May his spirit divine all my being refine till the beauty of Jesus be seen in me.
Praise God. Hallelujah. That is our prayer today. That the beauty of the Lord will be seen in us. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. This time we have the word of God. We pray that God bless his servant and we come to minister his word. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Bless, bless the, Lord. the Lord. I tell you something. I said to <clears throat> I said to a minister, I would be glad to sit and listen tonight. I didn't believe. Now I believe. I know the Lord heard me. And in the wee hours of the morning, he gave me something which I couldn't give myself. So I intend to share with you to the best of my ability. Yeah. Amen. And it's originally about doubt. Doubt. And doubt, you can be defining it as uncertainty, hesitation to commit, unbelief, a secular world might call it healthy skepticism. And in the New Testament, the Greek word for it is diakrino, to judge or evaluate and hesitation. Now, this is the part that really had me. I looked at doubt for years, mm -hmm. 78 years, mm -hmm. or, or close, mm -hmm. and I never saw what was shown to me. Mm -hmm. I will do but, and you will find do and but in doubt. Mm -hmm. uh, look at here and see. Uh, you will find do and but. All this was uh, on my bed. <laughs> do, um, but I would like to do something, but. You see that word, but? Yes. <laughs> do, but. And then the main thing was if you enhance doubt, you're going to have to go out. That's right. In there too. Out is in there. Oh, yeah, yeah. So when I put it together, I said, what? <laughs> so I put the out, out there, see, in the big red. Yeah. Out. Mm -hmm. If you don't, if you and I don't deal with doubt, we look looking to get out. <laughs> okay? Yeah. Remember, doubt is like saying, I intend to do but. But what? Mm -hmm. Doing but are in doubt. And out is also in doubt. Mm -hmm. And you know we don't often say about doubt and fear. Yeah. And then I hear these are fear too. And I said, what do you say? Mm -hmm. The air. Yeah. The air is in fear. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. I really was considering that the Spirit of the Lord took me for a second. And by the way, when fear, which is a cousin to doubt, come along, mm -hmm. it will take you far. far. <laughs> and far is also in fear. That's right. I said, Lord, you obviously want me to preach this word. Mm -hmm. Because why would you go to the trouble, so to speak, to show me all these angles which I never thought about? And then what is the answer? Believe. And then he said, look and you will see that be, you need to be, mm -hmm. and live. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's right. It's in belief. Yeah. Yeah. And even if you choose the word belief, L -I -E -F, huh? mm -hmm. life is in there too. Yeah. So I said, Lord, you really mean it. Mm -hmm. And then he started to look at the word. Satan raises doubts within every one of us. That's true. At this time and in this season, mm -hmm. at this time and in this season, I just go over this bit here for 
someone. And just to make sure that you got it good. And those on Zoom. The Lord was showing me that a simple word like doubt, this is what we are speaking about. If you look at it hard, do and but are all in the word doubt. Mm -hmm. Meaning to say, I would do something, but. And then, I was told in the word, but if you don't deal with doubt, you're going to find yourself out. Mm -hmm. Out is also in doubt. Mm -hmm. And it said, furthermore, and just for the sake of those who probably just joined us on Zoom, fear is a cousin to doubt. Mm -hmm. Huh? Yeah. And he said, but you know, fear will take you far. Real far. But he said, don't forget the air. The air is in fear. What you hear. And it could be a worse time than this time. What we're hearing worldwide. But the Lord is showing us tonight that we are not going to hide behind doubt. As we go on and show the Holy Spirit will show me what to say. Can you imagine? Let's start from the foundation. And then all this was done on my bed. I had to get up. From the very beginning of time. The serpent. Went to the woman. Has God indeed said you shall not eat of every tree of the garden? Huh? Like a question? Mm -hmm. To bring some doubt yeah. into your mind? Sure. We may eat the fruit of the trees of the garden, but of the fruit of the trees that you miss the garden, God has said you shall not eat it, nor shall you touch it, lest you die. Then the shepherd said to the woman, You will not surely die. <laughs> For, I mean, this is some, this is a serpent. And they had a relationship with Almighty God. Look, I challenge my audience tonight, here on Zoom, or whoever picked up this video. The values that we have had for years, carefully, listen carefully, that we have worked with values for years. I have brought us safely through. Be careful with what you're hearing. Be very careful with what you're hearing. Things sound sweet. And it was like, uh, you will not surely die. For God knows that in the day you eat of it, your eyes will be open. And you will be like God. But God had made them like him already. Yes. Yes. Uh -huh. That's right. God has made you and I like him already. Yes. Amen. Amen. So when the woman saw that the tree was good for food, Lord have mercy. Mm -hmm. And that it was pleasant to the eyes. There are many things that are happening all around. I'm asking you to really pay close attention. That are very attractive to the eyes. Very much so. And sometimes you and I feel a little in fear, like if we are getting left behind. Yes. Uh -huh. You know it is true too. Yes. You can as well say amen. Yes. People use whatever means they can to get on. Mm -hmm. Whatever get on means. Yes. Yes. And if you are not careful, doubt will begin to fill your mind. And you'll begin to wonder if I'm on, I wonder if I'm on the right track. I wonder if I am on the right track. Joe and Lizzie and Mary seem to be making it. What's happening to me? Perhaps my values are not helping me. Perhaps my values are keeping me back. So when the woman saw that the tree was good for food, I tell you, probably it smelled good too. And it looked good. And the tree desirable to make one wise. She took off its fruit and ate. She also gave to her husband with her. And he did. And you all know the result of that. Don't! Oh! I 
out of that garden. Yeah. Out of the safety of that garden. No. Every baby mm -hmm. uh, conception hard. Yes, hard. Mm -hmm. Man got to deal with weeds. Yes. Not only man, whoever. Weeds. Huh? And you fork up a piece of land away, you look, you see the weeds there again. <laughs> and tired. And you lay in that. You could lay down next to it. And the dog. The same dog from yesterday. Huh? The whole scenario changed because of sin. Yeah. You gotta, if you got to know, get it ready. And then the second part of this lesson was, well, you can imagine, from having the relationship with the master day by day, in the cool of the day, now they're going to hard, hard life. Some of us didn't see hard life yet. Some of us didn't see hard life yet. Yeah. Go ahead. The serpent, Satan tempted Eve by getting her to doubt God's goodness. He implied that God was strict, stingy, and selfish. For not wanting Eve to share his knowledge of good and evil. Satan made Eve forget all that God had given her and instead focus on what God has forbidden. Still doing it. Anybody you willing to say it? Still doing it. You and I can remember where we came from. Amen. We knew that we were slaves to sin. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And that we had, you know, where, wherever sin pulled us, we had to go. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And we know the change that has taken place from inside out. Amen. And now people are trying to make us feel that our values are wrong. It looks to me as though it's coming down to a point where it's going to have to choose. Yes. 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 You and I are going to have to make up our minds. Yes. 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 Because when you see the things that people do, the immoral things that people do, yes. to get, uh, not even necessities, to get luxuries, <laughs> then you would feel it's justified. Huh? To do immoral things to to get necessities. Yes. <laughs> you understand what he said? Yes. Yes. People are doing those things to get luxuries mm -hmm. because they have the necessities met already. Yes. Yes. So you are thinking now to yourself, yeah, 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 yeah. they're foolish. Mm -hmm. But well, them doing this and that to get luxuries, well, well you can hard do the same thing to get necessities. Oh, yeah. 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 Look. Oh, <laughs> The second part. Hmm? Yeah, finish it off. We fall into trouble too. Then we dwell on what God forbids rather than on the countless blessings and promises He has given us. The next time you are feeling sorry for yourself and what you don't have, consider all you do have and thank God. Amen. Then your doubts will lead you into sin. Amen. Yeah. Man, read that again, man. Yeah. That's so beautiful. Yes. The next time, the next time you are feeling sorry for yourself mm -hmm. and what you don't have, <laughs> consider all you do have and thank God. Amen. Then your doubts will lead you into sin. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And you know that that is true. Yes. Right. Many, many times. Even in a church service. 90% of what went on in that service 
was high and really on target. And excuse me a little bit of word. Everybody talked about the ten percent that went wrong. Yes, yes. yes. absolutely. Yes. Uh -huh. It makes it appear as though the wrong got more power yes. than the right. right. Uh -huh. yes. That's that's subject, that's backing up what you just said there. Yes. Because when you look around, if you have health to start with, uh -huh. huh? If you have health to start with, and you are in your right mind. Man, you more than 90%. That's right. Yeah, man. That's right. And the 10%, well, I ain't got, I ain't got any uh, breakfast this morning. Mm -hmm. But you, you ain't going to die? No. Huh? One day I won't kill you. Mm -hmm. huh? But you ain't going to die. But then you will hear doubt. Mm -hmm. You see? It starts with breakfast. Yeah. And there's so many breakfast and lunch. Mm -hmm. And so many can be breakfast, lunch, and dinner. dinner. Get up and do something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But what we have to do is to get up and do something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But what we have to do is to put out the doubt. Yes. Yes. Amen. Don't let the doubt make Amen. us get out. Exactly. Put out the doubt. Uh -huh. Then the second part of this word. Therefore, just as through one man sin entered the world, and death through sin, and thus death spread to all men. That's the thing about it. When they sin, we sin. Mm -hmm. We inherited it. Nevertheless, death reigned from Adam to Moses, even over those who had not sinned according to the likeness of the transgression of Adam, who is a type of him who is to come. But the free gift is not like the offense. For if by one man offense many die, much more the grace of God and the gift by the grace of the one man, Jesus Christ, abounded to many. And the gift is not like that which came to the one who sinned, for the judgment which came from the offense resulted in condemnation. But the free gift which came from many offenses resulted in justification. For if by one man's offense death reigned through the one, much more those who receive the abundance of grace and of the gift of righteousness will reign in life through the one Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. So, thank God. Jesus brought life. Yes, Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Therefore, as through one man's offense, judgment came to all men, resulting in condemnation. Even so, through one man's righteous act, the free gift came to all men, resulting in justification of life. Praise the Lord. For as by one man's disobedience many were made sinners, so also by one man's obedience many will be made righteous. Isn't that true? Somebody should be rejoicing in him. Moreover, the law entered that the offense might abound. But where sin abounded, oh hallelujah, where sin abounded, grace abounded much more. So that as sin reigned in death, even so grace might reign through righteousness, through eternal life, through Jesus Christ our Lord. You got a powerful note there, or I will move. I just got one here from 15 to 19. Mm -hmm. You are all born into Adam's physical family. Mm -hmm. The family line that leads to certain death. Mm -hmm. All of us have reaped the results of Adam's sin. We have, we have inherited his gift, a sinful nature. Sinful the, nature. A sinful nature. Mm -hmm. The tendency to sin. Mm -hmm. And God's punishment. Because of Jesus, however... We can trade judgment for forgiveness. We can trade our sin for Jesus' righteousness. Christ offers us the opportunity to be born into his spiritual family. The family line that begins with forgiveness and leads to eternal life. As we do nothing, we have death through Adam. But as we come to God by faith, we have life through Christ. Amen. Which family line do you know we know? <laughs> <laughs> Don't answer to me. Don't answer to me. That's right. Answer to yourself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My second point. Doubt causes us to forfeit peace with God. Genesis 21 7. She also said, This is Sarah. Who would have said to Abraham that Sarah would be? Your children, for I have borne him a son in his old age. Right? Mm -hmm. And you remember.
remember that she 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 had an attitude mm -hmm. when when the angel said that she because after all from a logical standpoint yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. it doesn't make sense Correct. from a health logical medical standpoint yeah. it can't yeah. happen yeah. Huh? Yeah. some of us saying the same thing Correct. some of us yeah. saying the same thing yeah. and that doubt I don't know how it happens but that doubt has a way of like radiating outward mm -hmm. and others can pick it up if you are doing something and you are doubtful somebody around you will pick it up you believe that? Your whole, your whole uh, manner, your, your yeah, whole aura. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Doubt. Put fear with it. Yeah. And in that case of, of Abraham and Sarah, it only the mistake that was made then. There's another sermon. Abraham was encouraged to go into the maid. To make sure that Sarah, yeah, huh? yeah. Sarah had a child, yeah, because it doubted God, yes, amen. And many of us have doubted God. Yes. Look, yes. I don't even know, but I'm gonna say, intimidation comes not only from outside your home, but inside your home. That's so true. That's so true. Inside your school, inside your university. Wherever you turn, people are intimidating you. Yeah. Making you feel that you are less than who you are. Yeah. And that you can't do what you know you can do or what you have done or what you are doing or what you will do. No. <laughs> yeah. Don't doubt, my third point, God's ability to help. Mm -hmm. Moses, yeah. the people whom I am among are six. Hundred thousand men on foot. Mm. Yet you have said it will give them meat that they may eat for a whole month. Shall flocks and herds be slaughtered for them to provide enough for them? Or shall all the fish of the sea be gathered together for them to provide enough for them? You see? There's a note on 231. But look, you see this here? God brought them out with a strong arm. Yes. Yes. Prove himself yes. in the Red Sea. Yes. My God. Yes. Huh? Yes. And now, poor fella. I say poor fella, but we all do it. Yes. When you and I look back at the things we have gone through, yes. huh? yes. it, it could only be God that brought us through. Right. I got anybody yes. in here. Yes. Yes. But people want to make you feel yes. that it is them. Yes. Who? Want me puking in the name of Jesus. Moses had witnessed God's power in spectacular miracles. Yet at this time he questioned God's ability to feed the wandering Israelites. If Moses doubted God's power, how much easier it is for us to do the same. But completely depending upon God is essential. Regardless of our level of spiritual maturity, when we begin to rely on our own understanding, mm. we are in danger of ignoring God's assessment of the situation. Mm. By remembering his past works and his present power, mm. we can be sure that we are not cutting off his potential. Oh, thank, thank you, Jesus. Lord. Thank you, Lord. Our understanding really gets us in trouble. The point number four. Momentary doubt versus lack of trust. Joe 23.10 who said, but he knows the way that I take. When he has tested me, I shall come forth as gold. <laughs> Look, he was really tested. Yes. And many born again Christians tell me they don't even like to read the story of Job. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. hmm. But they like the result of Job. Yes. 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 I won't even wait to go in that. He who believes 
in him is not condemned. But he who does not believe is condemned already. Because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. And that God is not here to This is Jesus', Jesus own words. Right? Mm -hmm. So when you don't believe, you condemn already. Yeah. Then doubt about God. Psalm 33, 4. For the word of the Lord is right. Mm -hmm. And all his work is done in truth. Mm -hmm. Psalm 33, 4. Look. If you and I don't have something to hold on to. Mm -hmm. In these times. Mm -hmm. I don't mind where this video goes. In these times, yeah. you would you would prefer to dig a hole mm -hmm. and get in it and bury yourself. Because <laughs> yeah. any and everybody from near and far want to make you doubt. I don't care where it goes. Yes. Yes. Want to make you doubt the values that you and I have had. That has brought us from where we came from yes. to now. But God can deal with this, you know. Yes. Yes. My point number six. Luke 1 18. And Zachariah said to the angel, How shall I know this? For I am an old man. And my wife is well advanced in years here again. A man of God. Look, we can't rail here. I am advising you and advising me to get humble here. This man was a man of God. He, he wasn't any little pit squeak. Huh? But again, looking at the circumstances, huh? after all, this can't be right. He had to be. Am I right? He had to be dumb. He had to be dumb until the child was born. Yeah. Anybody remember the word? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Thank God the child was born. If not, he would be dumb for the rest of his life. <laughs> I got this one here. Fix up good. Doubt makes us vulnerable to temptation. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yes. Luke 4 3. And the devil yes. said to him, if, if, who is he him? Jesus. If you are the son of God, command this stone to become bread. Look, if this don't encourage you tonight, I talk into the wrong congregation. Even Jesus, the son of God. You don't think he was hungry? Talk to me. After 40 days? Yes. 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 That God is there too. Yes. Satan may attempt us to doubt Christ's true identity. He knows that once we begin to question whether or not Jesus is God, it's far easy to get us to do what he wants. Kind of questioning can help us sort out our beliefs and and strengthen our faith, but those things can also be dangerous. Mm -hmm. If you are dealing with doubt, realize that you are especially vulnerable to temptation. Mm -hmm. Even as you search for answers, protect yourself by meditating on the unshakable truth of God's word. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. my Lord, my Lord. Mm -hmm. But you see, that is it, that because of the doubt, you become your ears now become open. Yes. You're looking for advice. Yes. And somebody always willing to give advice. Yes. But sometimes the people that are willing to advise you are in a worse condition than you. Yes. Yes. And it seems as though you, you can't even acknowledge or recognize that you are being advised by somebody that shouldn't be advising you. I put some of these in a blue heading because it's to remind myself that these are some of the answers. How Jesus helped John's doubt. Matthew 11, 4-6. And Jesus answered and said to him, to them, Go and tell John the things which you hear and see. The blind see and the lame walk. The lepers are cleansed and the deaf hear. 
The dead are raised up and the poor have the gospel preached to them. And blessed is he who is not offended because of me. Look, whatever note you got there, you got to say it. If you got a note, God bless you to read it. But let me tell you this. It couldn't have been easy. John was the forerunner. And he had done everything, so to speak, right. And he stayed, he ran within his lane. And he didn't try to overdo himself. Because he even went as far as to say, he who is coming after me yeah. is greater than me, yeah. blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Right? Yeah. In other words, he wasn't trying to pretend to be more than he was. Yeah. 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 But the enemy was out to get him. Yeah. And the man was in prison. Yeah. And he knew, and he knew that he was going to be killed. Yeah. So he had to begin to wonder, then, I wonder, look, you see, though, instead of him being able to get his head cut off, believe in God, huh? The enemy want to make him lose out at the end. Yeah. The enemy want to make some of us lose out yeah. at the end. Yes. Yeah. yes. There are people I know yes. that you couldn't get them to do the things that the world considers to be normal. Mm -hmm. To get finances mm -hmm. and to get progress. I mean big time. You couldn't but yet, doubt will come along. When things don't seem to be going their way, anybody who, yeah. 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 That's right. you say, I don't, you start to reckon, I don't do this, I don't do that, I behave myself, blah, 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 but where is this, where is this thing happening to you? And you see that logic? That logic can really, can really destroy you on that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Big time. Mm -hmm. Cause the man was in prison, about to lose his, his head. Yeah. We had to turn us. Could this be true? Yeah. This is really the one that was supposed to come. Mm -hmm. huh? yeah. Look how Jesus helped him. Jesus helped him by telling him, "The blind see, mm -hmm. who can hear hearing, huh? mm -hmm. lepers are cleansed, huh? the dead are raised up, and the poor have the gospel preached to them." But if that ain't enough to settle his doubt and to settle your doubt, I don't know what it more would take. <laughs> Luke 7, 18 to 23. I got this note here. Admitting doubts helps resolve them. <laughs> then the disciples of John reported to him concerning him, sent them to Jesus saying, Are you come, are you the coming one? Or do we look for another? Baptist has sent us to you saying, Are you the coming one or do we look for another? And what? And that very hour he cured many of infirmities, afflictions, the evil spirit, and to many blind he gave sight. You see, you can see this, this, this box up that there mm -hmm. that they could see and carry back a witness mm -hmm. that they saw for themselves. Huh? Mm -hmm. Amen. Go and tell John the things you have seen and heard. Right? Okay. Number 10. Believing despite having doubts. You might say, well, how is that? Hmm. Now while they were, Matthew 17, 22 to 23. Now while they were staying in Galilee, Jesus said to them, the son of man is about to be betrayed into the hands of men. And they will kill him. And the third day he will be raised up. And they were exceedingly sorrowful. And there's a note there too. That although, although they had doubts, because they, don't, because they didn't want it to happen. They didn't want Jesus to be crucified. Yeah. Hmm? But they still, they, had, they still had to believe him because they know he was the son of God. Mm -hmm. huh? yeah. So even though we have doubts, we got to push ourselves past the doubts. Yes, yes. 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 Sometimes I wish I could say more. Yeah. But all that is happening around, that is challenging our intelligence, mm -hmm. our memory, mm -hmm. huh? and all, you don't know that it will bring more and more doubts. Yes. Yeah. Yes. But we've got something to rely on. Yeah. We've had challenges in the past. Yeah. Haven't we? Yes. 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 And we can remember how God 
be an overcomer, how we overcame. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, Lord. And it's the same God that help us to overcome then, yes, going to help us now again. Amen. 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 When in doubt, when you doubt, Jesus helps. Yes. Huh. Matthew 8, 17, 18, that he might be for this, this was spoken by Isaiah prophecy, and he himself took our infirmities and bore our sicknesses. Or the cost of the sake of faith. When he says, saw great and much, he chose about him, he gave a command to depart from the other side. Look, you got to know him, 17, 17. All right, go ahead. Look, brethren, who, are, who else we can turn to now? I, I pause here. Who else we can turn to now? Tell me which country you want to go to now. Go on, very go ahead. Huh? Turn to God. Well, but that's the only place to turn. Then in twelve, Jesus' reaction. These are in blue for a reason. John twenty twenty five to twenty eight. The other disciples therefore said to him, "We have seen the Lord." So he said to them, "Unless I see, unless I see in his hand the print of the nails." And put my finger into the print of the nails and put my hand into his side. I will not believe. And after eight days, his disciples were again inside, and Thomas was then to the skin, the doors being shut, and stood in the midst and said, Peace to you. Then he said to Thomas, Reach your finger here and look at my hands, and reach your hand here and put it into my side. Do not be unbelieving, but believing. And Thomas answered and said to him, my Lord and my God. That's John 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. There's also no here. But I want to put in this part that if you read, if you if you heard the note read, this same man, when they were looking to kill Jesus, mm. said to the other disciples, Let's go and die with him. So don't judge him because of this one incident. Mm -hmm. He was a committed, faithful one. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> like some of us. Yeah. Right? But just that yeah. doubts and fears that we want to be sure. Mm -hmm. He wanted to be sure. Right? Yeah. And Jesus helped him to be sure yeah. by telling him, come. Come and see. All right? Good. How wisdom is this doubt? James 1, 6 to 8. Profiting from trials. But let him ask in faith with no doubting. For he who doubts is like a wave of the sea, driven and tossed by the wind. Mm -hmm. For let not that man suppose that he will receive anything from the Lord. He is a double-minded man, unstable in all his ways. Oh Lord, you got a note ready? If you have ever seen the contrast rolling of huge waves at sea, you know how restless they are, subject to the forces of wind, gravity, and tide. Doubt leaves a person as unsettled as the result as the restless waves. If you want to stop being tossed about, Rely on God to show you what is best for you. Mm -hmm. Ask him for wisdom and trust that he will give it to you. Then your decisions will be sure and solid. Yes. Bless the Lord. Yes. Sometimes a simple dream. Yes. Sometimes a simple dream yes. can clear the doubts. Yes. Uh, a simple yes. dream. Yes. Who can yes. give you that dream? Then we have here the lesson of the withered fig tree. And when the disciples saw it, they marveled, saying, How did this fig tree wither away so soon? These answers said that was sure they say to you, if you listen that listen carefully now. If you have faith and do not doubt, you will not only do what was done to the fig tree, but also if you say to this mountain, be removed and be cast into the sea, it will be done. And whatever things you ask in prayer, believe in, you will receive. Amen. Now, if we can get that into our spirit, then, oh, this would be so beautiful. This would be so beautiful. Yes. But 
করা পরে দুজনে দিন granted through faith. For the promise that he would be the heir of the world was not to Abraham or to his seed through the law, but through the righteousness of faith. For if those who are of the law are heirs, faith is made void and the promise made of no effect. Because the law brings about wrath. For where there is no law, there is no transgression. Therefore it is of faith that it might be according to grace, so that the promise might be sure to all the seed. Not only to those who are of the law, but also those who are of the faith of Abraham, who is the father of us all. As it is written, I have made you a father of many nations in the presence of him whom he believes, God, who gives life to the dead and calls those things which do not exist as though they did, who contrary to hope in hope believe, so that he becomes the father of many nations according to what was spoken. So shall your descendants be. And not being weak in faith, he did not consider his own body already dead since he was about 100 years old and the deadness of Sarah's womb. Look, brethren, I ain't gonna read all of that. I ain't gonna read all of that. We all know the only way he could get into this, this category to be discussed by Paul was because he went through. Are we gonna give up? No. No. when God told him he would be the father of so many nations and, and then get to the age where he's he called and said the body dead and, and the wife wound gone uh, after all we can't fathom God yeah. the law of love I know and I'm convinced by the Lord Jesus that there is nothing unclean of itself but to him who considers anything to be unclean, to him it is unclean. Mm. <laughs> this is so true. But if your brother is grieved because of your food, you are no longer walking in love. Mm. So me, you may know that what you're partaking of, it doesn't bother you, but it bothers your brother. Yeah. So what do you do? You demonstrate it to your brother? No, no, no. Huh? Are you with me? Yeah, yeah. The law of love. There were many doubters. God has used doubters too. Yeah. When God told Abraham he would be a father in old age, Sarah, when she heard she would be a mother in old age, Moses, when God told him to return to Egypt and leave the people out. Hmm? Mm -hmm. The Israelites, whenever they face difficulties in the wilderness, you all remember that? Mm -hmm. Gideon, when told he would be a judge and a leader, mm -hmm. oh Lord, he didn't want one test, he want many tests to prove that it, it is God. Huh? Then Zacharias, when he was told, I read that one earlier, Thomas, this is only a chart to bring it back into focus. No. Some that Jesus himself had to deal with. Peter, you all remember Peter, right? Mm -hmm. Jesus come walking on the water. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and Peter, doubt ain't had him then. He, he step out. The folk doubt. But when he look and realize that he, he was walking on water, he began to sing. It's nothing worse than God has given you a vision for a business, whatever kind of business that you do. And you step out in faith and things yes. seem to be going good. And then a week or two or a month come that things don't look so, so hot. Huh? And, right, and right away, Lord saved me. At least he did the right thing. But he was with you. He was with you. And then there's also there... Uh, the eleven of the Pharisees, when they were like squabbling among the disciples, squabbling among themselves, they thought that he uh, it was because they didn't have food. But he was really talking about the eleven of the Pharisees. And then when the disciples were powerless to heal, Jesus had to speak to them too. Uh, in the storm, 
when he was lying down in the boat on a pillar, comfortable, and, and they want to know. You don't care that we perishing. You know how many times we have, we have, as it were, if it was possible, we would provoke God. Yeah. How is it you have no faith? Then this one here, when the two of them walking on the way to uh, Emmaus and, and saying, uh, discussing all these things, and, and they want to offer him, who are you let me know all these things? And we had to open up the understanding. Mm -hmm. Lord help us. The Jesus' disciples after his resurrection, some believed, some didn't believe. Mm -hmm. Uh, David Martha, you all remember? Yeah. Hmm? Yeah. Uh, she tell him, look, there's four days. Yeah, stink, right? <laughs> you know, but now he stinks. Mm -hmm. And the early Christians, the early Christians went through all of this too. Acts mm -hmm. 12, 14. Are you with me, brethren? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But they said something the last time we met. And it came back to me as we came in here tonight. God is a God of order. Amen. Amen. And we have got to understand that we cannot manipulate God. Yeah. I don't very soft and quiet. Yeah. But I'm saying we cannot manipulate God. Yeah. And there are some who have been with us for a time in this same institution called Armor of Light. You cannot manipulate God. I said you cannot manipulate God and you cannot fool God. Even when the man of God went wrong. By putting the ark on a car, a new car. Mm -hmm. God is a God of order. You can't help God. He went to try to stabilize the ark. Uzzah, that's his name, thank you. And lost his life. And the man of God was very upset. But he should have been upset with himself. Because he did it the wrong way. So, Stand to say that God is a God of order. Yeah. And yeah. doubt and fear will make us do things that we shouldn't do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I am asking you, I am begging you, I am beseeching you. Trust God. Yeah. And I tell you something more. When you have a doubt and you keep it to yourself, it may not get solved either. You will see in some scriptures that if you express your doubt to somebody else, that person may have the key. Mm -hmm. yeah. That person may have the key to your situation. Yeah. But you keep it to yourself. Mm -hmm. huh? And I asked somebody today, I said, what's wrong with them? I said, is it that we have too much pride? Yeah. 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 When you watch shows from Africa and then places, they call out who got uh, HIV AIDS yeah. and this thing, the next thing, and people standing up. The people want deliverance. Yeah. Yeah. But we also want deliverance, but we don't want anybody to know. Yeah. Yeah. Because of doubt yeah. and fear yeah. and pride. Are you, how desperate are you? How desperate am I to be delivered? But God is willing to deliver us. I started with it. I got to finish with it. Doubt. I will do, but that's doubt. And all of them do, and but is in doubt. But. When you don't be, if you're not careful, you will be out. Something out of life. They want to say it, but something out of life. 
Ananias and Sapphira then, in case you, you're not thinking what, what I'm saying, yes. them feel that they could go and trick the man of God. Yes. And there are people who feel they can trick the man of God, the man yes. and the woman of God. Yes. You can't trick anybody. Yes. You're tricking yourself. Yes. You keep your dirty ways to yourself and you think you can hide them. <laughs> huh? You can hide them. You hide them from God. Hide them from the prophet. Hide them from the pastor. Hmm? Hmm. Lord help me. Ananias and Sapphira, and they were taken out. Out! Because of doubt. They didn't believe that the man of God could find out. No, where they tell me so. If they, if they had believed that the man of God would find out, you think they would do what they did? No. I don't think so. They thought it was a, a, a secret. Yes. Yes. They thought it was a secret. Yes. And let this be known to all, even those who are not here and those who are not on Zoom, who this video will reach. You might think that you have some wonderful secrets, but God knows everything. As sooner or later, exposure will come. And the whole world will know who is who. Sometimes because our language, our speech is so beautiful. Huh? You can subdue the enemy. You can't subdue God. Yeah. Let me tell you. Yeah. Whoever you are, near and far, you've got to give account to God. That's right. I gotta give account to God. You gotta give account to God. Are you making your plans? Are you doing your stuff in secret? But God's seeing everything. Doubt and fear is the road out to death. But believing what God has said is life and life everlasting. Hallelujah. What will your answer be? What will your answer be? There is no in between. There is no in between. Doubt and fear, death. Believe in God, life. Yes. Simple as that. That's it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, and what God said in the beginning, yes. He's still saying now. Yes. 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 That's right. uh -huh. But you know, sometimes I gotta control myself and get excited. I get excited to think. Real excited. That nobody in the world can do anything about the red girl. Yes. <laughs> That's right. You can talk about it. Talk till your tongue drop out. The hurricanes, the earthquakes, uh, the tsunamis, all those things you can talk about because they have a big mouth. But only God and God alone. Oh, but you, you old foolish old preacher, you don't know. I why don't know. Technology has not reached the stage yet and will not reach the stage that you can control the weather. That's right. Absolutely. Absolutely. You can get all the equipment you want to detect and, de and discern and to spot the weather. But you, the day that you can do something about it, <laughs> God is in control. Amen. God is in control. Somebody says smile. Hallelujah. God is in control. <laughs> you take your bag. You take your bag. We have seen many. From near and far. We have seen many from near and far. Get your act straight. 
Judgment is coming. Amen. Judgment is near. Amen. Get your act straight. You can't fool God. You try to fool the people, but you can't fool God. So God bless you all. Be encouraged. I said be encouraged. Be encouraged. Don't be intimidated. Things are happening all around to get us shaky. To get us to feel to give up. We're not giving up. Amen. Somebody said it and I agree with that person. If he come out to my rescue, I am bowing. And if he don't come out to my rescue, tell him bowing. And you're going to meet quite a few like that. I say you're going to meet quite a few like that. But the way you feel it rejoicing, yeah. Jesus. Amen. Bless the Amen. Lord. Bless the Lord. Amen. We worship the true and the living God. God. And He doesn't judge us by our standards. No. We fall short here and there. Yes. But all them debtors and all of them doubters, yes. He used every one of us to His glory and to Amen. His Amen. That should be a word of encouragement for us to know. To know that regardless of what happened, we are in life and we have the opportunity to hear this word tonight. Throughout doubt. Throughout doubt. I accept Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. The Lord bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I didn't want to close in this short word of prayer and there's some of you on zoom if you need to be included just show by the raise of your hand find somewhere to let us know I see one hand yes God bless you God bless you another hand oh yes okay yeah yeah one of those fancy hands yes yeah. <laughs> thank you Lord bless you. Almighty Father we thank you any hands inside it we thank you for this opportunity Lord. Thank you. Father I believe that this word has come at the right time I didn't even want to bring it Lord you know that is true but we've caught a lot of situations that bring on doubt yes. as we are dealing with it tonight Amen. in the name of Jesus Hallelujah. we decree and declare yes. this night that we will believe you yes. and we will speak the right words Amen. we will speak the answer Amen. rather than the problem yes. many times Lord we speak the problem but let us speak the answer. Yes, yes, speak to the mountain. Yes, a mountain of trouble. Yes, whatever. And tell it to go in the sea. Yes, and not doubt in our heart. No. But believe it will happen. You yes. promise us yes. it will happen. And you never fail yet. Never. So Lord, even as for those that raise their hands. Hallelujah. Right now I decree over coming victory hallelujah over coming victory thank you lord every situation and lord more than that i pray that we will hear testimonies because we know of testimonies from this same sanctuary that have not reached the ears of the people and lord you know why but Lord, I thank you Amen. because I heard them and they encouraged me Amen. to pray and believe you Amen. that even the darts that are sent out yes, Jesus. to Amen. your people Jesus. as we trust you Jesus. and we send Holy Ghost fire, those darts turn around Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. We are believing you. Jesus. Lord, you know every pretender Yes. You know every pretender. Yes. You know every faker. Yes. We bring them up before you. Yes. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Yes. And Lord, we understand clearly that we cannot deliver ourselves. Yes. And we need deliverance. We bow. Yes. And we say, Lord, deliver me. Yes. I can't help myself. Yes. And as we cry out to you, 
you help us. So thank you, Lord. We bless your name. We glorify you. We thank you for providing, for protecting all that you are doing. Thank you. Thank you. In spite of the plans of the enemy, your plans always overrule yes. Yes. the plans of the enemy. That's right. No matter how far the plans come from, why your plans are the best. That's right. And our trust is in you. Yes. Our confidence is in you. In Jesus. 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 Just for the video, the Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord cause his face to shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift up the light of his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. Now and evermore, the people say, Amen. For prayer and counsel in your walk with God, please email us at armoroflightbarbados at gmail.com. Thank you. And may God bless you.